Today I'm exploring one of the UK's most darkest and haunted caves ever, the Hellfire Caves. certainly get about these days I tell you I've never seen so many places in the UK as I have during the uh, the whole lockdown period anyway today um, I'm off to the Hellfire Caves now this is sort of like on the edge of the Chiltern Hills and they're caves that are made out of chalk I'm dead excited I do like a cave apparently there was a secret society that occasionally used to meet in there I think Joe's actually going to strangle me because I've just walked him all the way up one really steep hill and now we're having to walk all the way back down again because the caves are down there. He's not impressed. The Hellfire Caves are situated near High Wycombe underneath West Wycombe Hill. They were dug out in the 17th century to get chalk to form the local roads. They stretch for about three quarters of a mile and go underneath the mausoleum at the top of the hill and also the church. There's limited car parking at the venue, but a pay and display a little bit further down the lane. It cost us around about £7.50 each to go in here and we booked online prior to our visit. We are just in the entrance of the cave and already you can feel it's quite chilly in here. So make sure you um, bring a bit of a fleece or something to keep you nice and warm. Now, these are actually um, dug out uh, because they're in chalk hills to actually put chalk down for the roads around the area and also for some foundations for some of the houses in the area as well. I'm slurring my words. Now they do loads of sort of like um, themed events here. There's lots of these sort of statues around the place. It's quite creepy, actually. Oh, it's dark. So it goes roughly around about a quarter of a mile underneath the hills, underneath the mausoleum at the top of the church. And it was originally dug out as a mine um, with a great hall in it. But they use it now for lots of sort of like weddings, obviously it's open up to the public, um, and they do these themed sort of like nights, like particularly on Halloween, because it's quite creepy. Now, which way do we go now? Do we go this way? Or do we go this way? Look, there's this thing here in the wall. That's really creepy, isn't it? Now the Great Hall was actually closed down for a period of time because it was unsafe, but what they did is they actually put these sort of like great big sort of like steel rods through from the top of the hill right the way down to hold up the ceiling in the Great Hall. And that's where they have lots of weddings. So it is an unusual venue for weddings and things like that. Wow, it is really creepy, isn't it? Look at it. <laughs> it goes a long way down. Shall I hide from Joe? Hide from Joe. Hide from Joe. <laughs> he, these are the members of the Hellfire Club. Uh, we've got Francis Dashwood. I like his wine. I do like his wine as well, actually. We've got poets, politicians, MPs, um, Prince of Wales, well, physician to the Prince of Wales, their doctors, uh, an MP for Weymouth. Loads of MPs, part of the Hellfire Club. There is a surprise, don't be I know. As we're getting deeper into the actual cave, it feels colder and colder and colder. But do make sure you wear some sensible shoes because uh, the floor is gravel. You can see why they do these Halloween evenings and things like that themed. We just passed an actor uh, having a look round, planning the next event. Well, where do we go now? Which way, Joe? I'm lost. You can get a bit lost down here. So we're now by the children's cave and the banqueting hall is coming up. Then we've got the triangle and then the miners cave down here. So we're just about to go into the banqueting hall, but just touching as it feels wet. So it's very damp.
Oh, we're coming into the banqueting hall. Wow. So I'm in the Great Hall now, and this is where they do sort of like receptions, corporate events, and it can house around about 120 people. And uh, originally they had to close this bit down because um, the chalk was falling off the ceiling, but it's now being held up um, through those steel rods going right the way up to the top. Feels very nippy. There's loads of nooks and crannies for you to explore, but it's quite an interesting fact there um, that even though the caves are built in the 17th century, only the locals really knew about them um, and they were left to decay. And um, the 11th Baron of Dashwood, was it? Yes. He was the one that, uh, back in the 1950s, decided to renovate them, remove all the boulders that have fallen from the ceiling. I've noticed that on some of the reviews online have been that it doesn't go very far underground. Well, believe me, I think we've been walking quite a way. I think we've gone quite a long way underground, to be honest with you. So just touching the walls here, it's that chalky kind of sludge on the walls. Now, there is supposed to be a secret passage going up to the church on top of the hill, but we don't know where that is. We're starting to get a bit lost, to be honest, aren't we? We just follow the fire exit signs. So we're coming into the miners' cave. Oh dear, listen to this. Apparently, the team from uh, Living TV's Most Haunted with Derek Cora and Yvette Fielding as the presenter, they came down to the caves and they spent the whole night down here. And they said that the caves were the darkest place they'd ever, ever visited. Oh, I'm getting a bit creeped out now. Fabulous, I love it. I love coming down all these passages and things and finding like little nooks and crannies. Do you? Oh, look at this, all the stalactites. You can't really see through there. We've seen the octopus on the it looks like a face. Look, if you look at it in camera here, it looks like a skull's face in the thing, doesn't it? Oh. So now we're apparently as deep down into the actual caves as we can go. And um, right above our heads, somewhere up there, is the church right on top of the hill. And it's taken us a good sort of 15 minutes to walk right the way down. Now we've got to try and find our way out. Oh, I just heard a ghost. Apparently there's two ghosts. There's a Paul Whitehead and the white lady that apparently uh, frequent the caves. Oh, we didn't get this way. Just like to point out at this stage, this is uh, Sir Francis Dashwood, who was the second baronet. If you look on the picture, he likes a glass of Dashwood too, just like me. It's one of my favourite wines. Sorry, do you want to say that? So he's just as camp as you as well. <laughs> Actually, I quite enjoyed that. Now it's time for a nice cup of tea, as you do. Mm. Well, I've got to say, I really did enjoy those caves. But now we've finished, uh, it's now time to actually explore the mausoleum at the top of the hill, which is West Wickham Hill, and also the church as well. And I have to tell you, it is a killer of a hill. 
look at that. Well, that's it from the Hellfire Caves. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click on that subscribe button and put your comments down below. Don't forget, check out my other videos as well. And I'll see you on the next one.